Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to deploy and configure Azure VMware solution. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and now first of all I have to register the Microsoft.avs resource provider. To do that I'm going to go to my subscription. I have my pay as you go. And I'm going to go to the resource providers. Where is the... Here you see resource providers. I have to check that if the Microsoft.avs is not registered, I have to see it's not registered. I'm going to click on it. and highlight it and click on register here it says it's registering it will take few seconds and it will register this and after this is registered I'm going to create an Azure VMware solution private cloud using the Azure portal so let me just pause the video and come back when it is done okay it is registered now we'll create it so in the search box i'll do azure vmware solution you see this option click on it it says no avs private clouds to display i will click on create it will take you to this option so if you're in, so it says prerequisites right so it says if you are an enterprise agreement customer you need to log or support request to allocate host if you are a csp customer use microsoft partner center to make this available for your customers i'm going to go with basics i'm going to create a new resource group azure avs rsg east us so here are the private cloud details name right so in the resource name i have to provide the name of the azure vmware solution private cloud so sir avs private cloud location is east us and the, the size of the host you can select from the drop down so see it says choose the specification that are right for your cloud because i if you see this option i have uh, i'm not one of these customers right so i cannot i'm not an enterprise customer i'm not a or if you are the csp customer then you have to configure the azure plan for the customer area i don't have those right i'm not i'm using pay as you go so size of the host you would choose is the whatever options like i can go for av36 or any other so let me so if you see the documentation azure vmware solution are based on hyper v converge the following table shows the ram cpu disk capacity of the host so this is the size you can add here av36 it is not available as of now so and the number of host you can select like if you want three host this is the number of esi host that will make up the default cluster of your private cloud so these were this will be the esxi host on which your vm would run okay so you can look for this documentation or check the number of host you can you define right so this document after the planning of the deployment This is the CIIDR block, the private, uh, the IP addresses for the private cloud for cluster management, right? You have to make sure that these are unique. It would represent the private cloud management network and will be used for the cluster management services, right? Such as vCenter server, NSXT dash T manager. So you would use slash 22 address. So for example, you can go 10, 
0.175.0.0/22 okay and you see this message here for the pay as you go subscription it says azure vmware solution is available for all customers with an existing microsoft enterprise agreement or those under a cloud cloud solution provider prior to creating and deploying the azure vmware solution please review so i'm just still showing you the options that you will add and if you would have those you will add the tag you will go for the review create this validation failed because of the error right so uh, if you would see the legal terms here data retention avs does not currently support retention or extraction of data stored in avs clusters once the avs cluster is deleted the data cannot be recovered right so and it will terminate all the running workloads professional services data transfer to vmware in the event that you contact microsoft for technical support relating to azure vmware solution microsoft must engage vmware for assistance with the issue microsoft will transfer the professional services data and the personal data contained in the support case to the vmware okay data processing agreement and if i would have the size then i would have the uh, pricing as well after you add these right verify that you have deployed everything and if you want to connect to azure uh, virtual network with express route you would have to define whether to use an existing or the new express route virtual network gateway circuit right so i will we will discuss the express route virtual network gateway with the avs uh, like uh, in the scenarios where you don't have a virtual network where you already have a virtual network with a gateway subnet or you already have a virtual network with a gateway subnet how would you create an existing virtual network gateway and you connect to the avs okay and then we will see how you will connect the avs to the on premise environment and many new things about it okay i hope you liked it i hope you got the idea of how to plan and deploy these things so i hope this is on informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day